Ty Jerome has been a catalyst for the Warriors' surprising yet inspiring play with Steph Curry and Andrew Wiggins sidelined with injuries. If it wasn't for his veteran savviness and creativity, the Warriors may not have won as many games as they did with two of their all-stars out. Let's go over how Ty Jerome got to be on the Warriors in the first place, what he does on the court to make himself and the Warriors team unguardable, and why the Warriors should ultimately sign Jerome for the rest of the season. Ty Jerome is actually one of the Warriors' two-way players. He was signed right before the season started after the Rockets waived him in a salary dump trade by the Oklahoma City Thunder. He had a good couple years with the Thunder, but he didn't have as good of a season in 2022 as he did in 2021, so that may have been why the Thunder waived him. Regardless, he still was a really good scorer and playmaker and a good size for the point guard position, so I'm still surprised the Rockets waived him. It was good though that the Warriors picked him up, and they actually waived their two-way players Lester Quinones and Quindary Witherspoon to make room for Ty Jerome and Anthony Lamb, but Jerome has been such a good player for the Warriors so far. So next I want to go over some of his stats and some of the games he's had so far to propel the Warriors to some amazing wins. So first I want to highlight some of his stats with the Thunder as like I said he had a really good couple seasons with them. So in 2021 Ty Jerome averaged 10.7 points on 42.3% from 3 to go along with 3.6 assists and only 1.4 turnovers. The next season he averaged 7 points a game. He also averaged 2.3 assists, kind of was a down year for him but regardless I thought the Thunder should have kept him or at least I also thought the Rockets would have kept him but luckily in some regard he was waived and the Warriors were able to pick him up because like I said he's been so huge for them this season. So for the Warriors in 2023 he's almost shooting 50-40-90, he's averaging 7.2 points, 50.5% from the field, 39.1% from three, 95.8% from the free throw line to go along with 2.4 assists with only 0.6 turnovers. Ty Jerome has been huge for the Warriors. He's been just that stable point guard presence that they've needed, especially with Curry out. So now I want to highlight some of those games. Probably Ty Jerome's best game came on December 28th against Utah. He had 17 points, 7 of 14 from the field. He was only 2 of 7 from 3. But my, he hit some clutch shots down the stretch. He also had seven rebounds and two assists to go along with a steal. And he was huge for them in that game. Also, some other games I want to highlight. Against Memphis on Christmas, 14 points on six of nine from the field, two of four from three. He was a catalyst for turning the momentum towards the Warriors in that fourth quarter also some major plays down the stretch that helped the Warriors win that game also again put up 14 points on five of nine shooting against Brooklyn then he scored 11 points against the Knicks then nine in Toronto on two of three shooting then scored nine points also in Philadelphia and you also see the good three-point shooting right one of two against Philadelphia two of three against the Knicks one of two against the Nets and it just goes on and on such a great shooter such a stable force for the Warriors so now having said that I want to get into some of his qualities that make him such an unguardable player and the things that have helped the Warriors stay afloat with Curry out. First thing about Ty Jerome, it's his size, right? He's a 6'6 point guard. He has a major advantage on both ends of the court because of that, and he's able to see over the defense and maneuver the pick and rolls with ease. Also, his passing ability and IQ, you know, he's able to settle the Warriors down. He takes very smart shots, and he's usually in the right spot at the right time. I mean, the Warriors haven't really had a point guard off the bench that can set up guys the way he can, and it's also good because he's a really low turnover player. Turnovers have been one of the main problems for the Warriors over the past few years and even when Jordan Poole has been the backup point guard to run the offense he often has some unforced turnovers and Ty Jerome he really doesn't have many turnovers at all so having somebody like that with his size and height along with the passing ability that's huge for the dubs off the bench also Jerome is an excellent shooter you know when I went over his stats with the Thunder he shot 42 percent from three making over two a game in the 2021 season and he's had that shooting ability for a while you're also also seen with the Warriors right 39% from three and I have to imagine that percentage will go up as the season goes on and plus once Curry comes back and if Jerome gets playing time then he's going to get even more open looks with Curry on the court but the thing is too you know Jerome can get hot from three at any time you know he can also use his size to finish over smaller guards and that also makes him such an effective score also Jerome's got a great floater game he's super super crafty at the 
rim. And that also has to do with his height advantage, right? He's able to see over the defense and especially in the pick and rolls, he can get his defender on the backside of him. And plus, like I said, with his height, he can get off floaters really easily. And he's just crafty at the rim because of that. And also here's the thing, the Warriors could use the extra guard depth. Kind of doesn't make sense, you know, because they already have Poole and DiVincenzo off the bench, but Jerome or DiVincenzo could easily play the small ball three with their defense IQ and size at the guard position. Like I said, Jerome is 6'6". A lot of forwards nowadays in the NBA are around 6'6", 6'7". And yes, you know, maybe Jerome isn't known for being a defender, but he's smart. You know, he's gotten, you know, sneaky steals here and there. And I guarantee he could play the three if Steve Kerr wanted to. And another thing with Jerome, he's a vet, right? And I know, you know, he's in a press conference, he doesn't really want to be called a vet, but kind of theoretically he is, you know, he's one of those four-year college players. He's already played a couple years in the NBA. And even before that, he was already a really smart, high IQ player. And you can clearly see that Steve Kerr trusts him. And here's the thing too, I would like the Warriors to sign him for the rest of the season, because, you know, if the young guys aren't as reliable once the playoff comes around, I don't necessarily think that will happen. But let's say that's the case, Jerome would be a really nice backup option. You could play Jerome, you know, with a three guard lineup, let's say with like Poole and DiVincenzo, you know, Kuminga, maybe even with Wiseman, right? So you have that flexibility with Jerome and that's why he's so key for this team. But really, here's the main thing with Ty Jerome and why he's so important for the Warriors. He's just a stable presence off the bench and in the locker room. He's just a very even keel guy, you know, never heard anything about him causing drama or anything like that. And on top of that, he backs it up with his play on the court. Just an even tempered guy, even keeled. You can tell he doesn't get too high or too low. And the Warriors need somebody like that on their team. And yes, like I said, maybe he's not like, you know, a vet, so to speak. But with his four-year college experience and with his experience in the NBA, you could say he's more of a vet on this Warriors roster. And as I mentioned, the few things that Ty Jerome does really well that have carried the Warriors during this great stretch without Curry. One, it's his size and passing at the point guard position. And number two, it's just shooting ability, right? Great shooter and great passer, that's a great combo in the Warriors system. And especially with Curry out, you're going to need guys that can shoot and pass the ball really well. And Jerome is that guy. So overall, I really hope the Warriors find a way to keep Ty Jerome. Like I said, he is on a two-way contract. So that means he won't be available for the playoffs if the Warriors don't decide to sign him for a standard, you know, one-year contract. So obviously him or Anthony Lamb could get that spot. The Warriors may have to make a trade though to clear roster spot, maybe shed some salary for Jerome and Lamb to have those spots. Now, I don't think that will happen, but I don't know if that will happen, right? I mean, I think ideally the Warriors would like to have Jerome for the playoffs as a backup insurance option. But like I said, they may have to cut somebody and, you know, obviously don't really have any roster spots available. But at this point, you know, the Warriors have been playing so well without Curry and Jerome has played so well that maybe they won't need to make any trades at all. I think one move may still be possible to get another, let's say, three and D forward. Other than that, Jerome and Lamb, and I guess mostly Jerome since I'm talking about him in this video, they've just been the catalyst for the Warriors. They've been, you know, great veterans off the bench, even though they're, you know, I guess you could say young veterans. But regardless, I hope Jerome can get a standard contract for the Warriors. Been so key for them with Curry out and his abilities as a two-way player, as a taller point guard, as a passer, defender, score, so key for the Warriors, and I think they are going to need him when it's all said and done. So thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of Ty Jerome. Should he get a standard contract? How impactful he's been for the Warriors this year? So thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.